Hello, I'm Fiore McClary, uh, MD of Agrotopia Ireland. Uh, we're actually in our proof of concept unit, our POC, uh, at Finnegan's Farm in Ballarat, Navan County Mead, um, introducing the first of its kind, uh, which is a hydroponic vertical tower system that can grow fresh wheat sprouts at an industrial scale for the farming sector, specifically for beef and dairy, but other livestock as well. This system is unique. It's a patent technology, comes all the way from the States. It's built by a company called Hydrogreen, which are our partners. So Agrotopia is partnered up with Hydrogreen uh, in the US. They're based in South Dakota. We have the exclusivity in Ireland, UK and Europe, as well as the Middle East for this exclusive equipment. We are showcasing it here at Finnegan's Farm uh, with trials that are being conducted in the beef sector at a finishing farm. The actual system itself is about 20 meters long. It's just under two meters wide and about just under six meters high. It's got eight levels. It can actually produce up to 16 ton per day of fresh feed. It's a five day growth cycle. So in five days, you're gonna have a serious amount of nutritional value. After five days, you will start getting photosynthesis that will set in. You'll start getting more green grass on the top and it'll pull the nutritional value of the sugars out from the roots. When it starts to sprout, I'm just gonna pull it out. It's, you see the mat is starting to be very rigid. You've got all the roots and that's where the goodness lies. It's all in the roots. Now this needs another two days of growth but after two days, you'll actually have a bigger amount of grass on the top, which is the wheat grass, but it's the actual sprouts themselves, as in the roots, all of it. That's where the goodness is. The belt will actually go back towards the harvester, which is a shredder. So as you could see already, you're starting to see the actual grain is starting to sprout. So you've got a little small root coming out and a sprout coming out. So this needs an extra, it needs an extra three to four days. Obviously it's the watering system is already incorporated into the uh, software. So there's a schedule on a day-to-day -day basis of how the watering system works. And I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on the watering system on level one, as you can see, I've just instigated that myself. So that comes on every, say, depends. On day one, uh, every 15 minutes, it'll come on for two and a half minutes. On day two, it'll go every 30 minutes, and then day three, and so on and so forth. But it'll come on for about a maximum of two minutes each um, schedule. This has a high nutrient value. So once it sprouts, you have a higher protein content. You have a higher, let's say, soluble fiber content. You have a higher sugar, glucose content. So it's a very, it's, it's, and it's rich in various vitamins and minerals. After a five day growth, you're going to have about an average of 24 to 25% dry matter. So you're, you're seeding, say, 400 kilos of grain. You're getting just under 2,000 kilos of fresh wheat sprouts. It's clean environmentally friendly when it comes to any fertilizer or additives or, or, or pesticides or any chemicals, zero. There's zero waste in it. You're growing it in five days. It's all indoors, not weather dependent. And as well as that, it's got a high digestibility. So what I'll say to you is this, it's rich in enzymes. So the digestibility on this is probably a 90% higher than any other conventional feed out there going to be harvested now so what we're doing is what Elisa is doing is she's going to set up the harvesting system on the machine it's already fully programmed it's a touch of a button this is very easy and simple to do anybody can do it you could hear the sizer which is the shredder in the background starting to move the motors are starting to come online and now you'll see this is starting to move so the actual belt is coming back as you could see and what happens is the feet will actually fall down into the harvester. So when it's fully harvested, 
the actual belt will come all the way in because if you're harvesting the full belt, the whole belt will be in. But we're just going to showcase here a full a half a section of a belt. So the belt's already come in, it's fully harvested. Now we're going to seed. So once it's harvested, it reseeds automatically as well. Touch of a button, when it harvests, it actually does it automatically and reseeds the belt. So the, the seeding happens with this. It works on an air compressor system. So there's very little, very little power needed for this system here. We were never able to grow fresh root sprouts at an industrial scale. With this system, we can grow it from anything from 16 ton a day up to 130 ton a day, depending on how many of these towers we, we actually install in a unit.